Okay, welcome to our project. And my name is Odongo Nyongesa Desmas, registration number HDE 212 Thank you. My name is Nakare Daniel, and my registration number is HDE 212 um, I'm Cornelius Bundu, registration number HDE 212-0090-2018. Welcome to our project today. Yeah, our project... Okay, we are handling a question, like using a creative technique to design an innovative solution to an identified problem and prepare a video of it submit as an examination. The Innovation must be patentable. The video will be forwarded for marking. So the technique that we have been providing here are scamper and booster technique. So in our case, we are going to apply booster technique. So uh, in our project, we chose uh, we innovate a simple room cooler or air cooler. So the material required was one uh, was a transparent plastic tin, a transparent plastic tin, which is here with a lid. The lid, a lid, is here, but it has been connected to a motor, so we can't lift it further. So you can just see it from the yeah, A super glue, a super glue has been used to attach to the motor, so. The materials are far away, okay. Here it is. Yeah, yeah. Here we have a super glue. Thank you. It's a special glue. A water? Water is from jar. So we we'll use it in experimenting. Yeah. So this is just a problem, prototype. Uh, also, a small plastic bottle. Uh, a small plastic bottle we have. We have already cut and attached to the, uh, the priority. So it's a simple from uh, the normal solar solution, a small plastic bottle. A motor? A motor. And, and a motor, we also have a motor. Here it is, it has been attached to the lid uh, for the purpose of saving time. We couldn't uh, attach it when we are doing this experiment. But here it is. Yeah. Some wires. This is a wire for connecting uh, the power to the motor. At the source of power, a battery or an electric power. So we are using an electric power via the extension, and uh, you can see it's on. And so a simple uh, fan. A simple fan. It's made from plastic material. It is. And a pair of scissors. The pairs of at least two pair of scissors. So we used both because we had a combined effort. A team thing. You must do all this stuff. Sure. So those scissors, specifically, we used them to cut this fan from a plastic tin or a bottom. Yeah, and we also had a knife which we used to dissect this uh, hole uh, on the, what do you call it? The, the plastic tin on the bucket? Yeah, at the so side the of the bucket to create this hole to place this bottle here. Yeah. So, uh, that photo we attached it with a, a super, super glue so that it can be it can together uh, yeah, and farm and also to prevent the air from coming out, out through the joint but to come out through that yeah. photo that this one here so you can open and close and it, close it. So in case it's working you open but it's not working you you know so you prove IG so that uh, the dust particle cannot can enter that, yeah. the bucket via the opening yeah. so uh, our experiment of water cooler by using the method Wiza, the Wiza, that we combine blending or combine, we combined the, a fan and a, a bottle. But this air cooler can be used also as a, a water dispenser or it, it also cools water for building purpose and at the same time it cools the room yeah. so
So simply we are talking about uh, making a water dispen a dispenser and uh, an air room cooler or a, air and a room conditioner. Using the whistles technique under the uh, W, which is wiping out, we are wiping out the room uh, fan and also the room dispenser, which are very expensive, number one, to acquire. And also the installation, the cost of the installation is also expensive. And also they occupy space, as you can see, and they also do use a lot of power and, uh, uh, to, to run them. So, in our technique, we have used those ones to wipe out for a simple tin as a water dispenser and a simple fan for to replace the room fan that uh, uh, actually we are wiping it out. And also, under improvisation, we have decided to use a mortar, which we have improvised from a radio cassette, a simple uh, source of power using a phone charger, and then a simple... Um, a yeah, simple fan from simple plastic materials which are easy to acquire uh, at any time. Yeah. Thank you. So we go to another part, the fourth part of whistle technique, which is substitute. So here, by using these materials, we have substituted a water dispenser, yeah, which is, as, as my colleague has said, is expensive to acquire and expensive a lot of space. And also, we have substituted it with a fan. This, this alone, without combination of the plastic tin, can be used as a room cooler or a fan, as they are saying, my colleagues are saying. Yes. So that's one part we have substituted. And then the last part is adaptability. So, in, in terms of adaptability, is space. What is this space compared to the commercial dispenser and this commercial room fan, so we have at least adapted this stuff. Okay, so we'll go straight ahead to demonstrating how our prototype works. Yeah, so first of all, we'll begin with the fan. We have connected it to the power source. Let's confirm first of all whether it works. Yeah, yeah we have uh, actually mounted our fan to the motor, which we said uh, we modified it from the radio cassette, and then the motor has been attached to the lid so that uh, when we close, yeah. uh, it doesn't have. Okay. The air doesn't escape as yes. so that it can be more efficient and effective. Exactly. So, um, for our fun, we test it first. Yes. So, as you can see, it's working, and uh, I can be able to feel the breeze. For <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling good actually. So. This one will accumulate the air inside the air and then it will be channeled through this pipe so that it can condition, condition the room. room towards the, this is just a prototype but when we get an improvised one it will be able to serve a larger space. Room. Yeah. And for the water, you add water to a certain level. Yeah. We have calculated the container. The, the container. Up to a certain up, limit. Up, up to a certain limit. Make sure that that water doesn't go through that hole. Yeah. Yeah, that we have made there. Yeah. So this water also assists in cooling the room and also the, the fan cools the water, yeah. which in turn you can tap the water and use it Take for it. drinking. For consumption. Now, uh, in case for a better modification, you can have an outlet like a tap. At the bottom of the container, and, and those that have an inlet to avoid the movement of the lid each and every time because you can tamper with the wire. And the purpose so, of hygiene. Yes, you can create the, the inlet and the outlet where you can drink your water safely. And you put there a stand also. Yeah, yeah. So, so better. it can be portable. Yeah. yeah, that's one advantage by the. Yeah. So, so you try it out and put the power source on. And then we open, we open the, this that. side here. So we we'll try to test. You feel, you feel that the current, the current, okay, yeah. As yeah. you yeah. can see, you see the paper. Okay. So when it works like this in our room, you can see how the the air is coming out of the the, the package. Yeah. 
air conditioning at the same time cooling the water. Cooling the water. With this water after being cooled, take the breeze out of the water, this air, and cool the air. Yeah. So for efficiency and for, 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 for industrial work, for use, we can improve this thing to be a, a, a bit large and this uh, motor with a high speed or high power which can circulate enough air to the room. Yeah. So after here we can formulate some of the advantages and disadvantages of our professional chocolate type. So from an advantage from what we have explained before, one advantage is that it works with less space. One advantage is that it occupies less space, as you can see. Another type of advantage is that there is less power consumption and it's also portable. You can move from one area of the house to the other, according to your preference. Yeah, in addition to that, we also have convenience of materials. These materials are easy to get them and they are also cheap to get them. And even you can use to make them from uh, the old stuff. Like you can see this one is an old lid, an old can, but for commercial purposes we can improve on this one and expand and create something big that can work, but uh, which will be uh, efficient and is also less uh, power consuming. Yeah. As you can see in our case we are using our phone charger yeah. which doesn't consume much but, power. Uh, but it's working. Yes. Yeah. As you can see, it's just working very very efficiently. So another disadvantage can just give it out so like I can put a disadvantage from the point of accessibility. Not everyone, like not all households, will get access to like maybe electrical power or these cells, battery cells or a generator to power a fan in air conditioning. So that's an advantage. Another one could be then uh uh Okay, to add an advantage, it will be hygienic if this lid is not uh, uh, not removed. So, as you can see, when I touch this way, it, uh, it can be removed. It can be removed. So, for hygiene purposes, you can create an inlet that will help to draw in the water and an outlet to uh, to draw out the water, so that you can avoid the contact uh, with the with this motor area because which can be uh, which can be very destroyed. dangerous and also can cut you yes cut you. yeah uh, for the precautionary measures when you are making this thing be very cautious with sharp objects like this these ones scissors and even sometimes some, the super glue uh, can uh, mount your fingers together so Yes, that is our. Mama ali to us. Ah, and in conclusion, we can say the Musa technique has helped us in one way to be to be innovative and to be creative students. At least we are a product of technology. And so at this point, you can say at that we are a product of technology. It has taken us months, like to come up to complete this idea to be legit. With the pen of our group lecturer, yes. you are a professor, but here you have a lecturer. <laughs> so, with the students of this lecturer, we yeah, have joined so the efforts yeah. to come up with the yeah. prototype. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, yeah, you. thank you so much, sir, and we hope that this project will you will like really it. You like it. it. Yes, and we will call us <laughs> for a cup of tea. Why do you move in this